We'll evaluate this integral using u substitution. In many problems, you let u be the denominator, but that's not going to work here. If u equals e to the 2x minus 4 e to the minus x, well, its derivative would be by the chain rule 2 e to the 2x plus 4 e to the minus x, and we just don't have that in the numerator. So in this problem, we're going to do a preliminary algebraic step. It doesn't seem at all obvious, but when you see how this simplifies, you'll realize what a great idea multiplying and dividing by e to the x can be. So in the top becomes e to the 3x, and we get e to the 3x minus 4 in the denominator after distributing. Now this is much better than the original problem for two reasons. The denominator only has a single exponential. We just have e to the 3x, whereas before we had two exponentials. Also, this e to the 3x is repeated twice. So now, we can let u be the denominator, e to the 3x minus 4. And then du is 3 e to the 3x dx. And we almost have our du right here. We're just missing a 3, so I'll multiply and divide by 3. And now I have 3 e to the 3x dx. That's all du. And so I can rewrite my integral in terms of u. This is 1 third the integral of du over u. And I anti-differentiate using the natural log of the absolute value of u. And then finally, rewriting my expression in terms of my original variable, I have 1 third times the natural log of the absolute value of e to the 3x minus 4 plus an arbitrary constant c.